Uh, now we come to overriding and uh, this is quite an important concept. Now uh, suppose you've got a method declared in a class and it's got the same name and the same uh, what is called signature um, as a method which you would otherwise normally expect to inherit from a superclass or super interface. Um, by signature, by the way, what I mean is it takes the same argument types in the same order. Okay. Now, um, in this case, the method of the superclass or super interface is not inherited. Right. And if the method not inherited is abstract, then the new declaration in the class is said to implement it. And that's something we've seen before in the case of interfaces and abstract methods in abstract classes. Okay. Now, if the method that you haven't inherited is not abstract, then there are two cases to consider. Um, if, if that method not inherited is an instance method, then the new declaration is said to override it. And if it's a static method, then the new declaration is said to hide it. And uh, these two things, hide and override, result in different behaviour. Uh, um, basically, by the way, Implement is very similar to override because um, abstract methods, of course, have got to be instance methods. So these two behaviours tend to be very similar. Now the opposite of abstract is concrete. So people talk about concrete classes and concrete methods. Um, An interface, by the way, is 100% abstract. And uh, you can think of an abstract class as being, um, in some sense, it uh, it's, uh, lies between being a concrete class and an interface. Um, but of course, uh, in inheritance terms, it's always treated as a class, not as an interface. Now, um, uh, in an interface, of course, all of the methods are implicitly abstract and they're public as well. Um, that means, of course, that you don't have to label them as abstract or public, uh, but it doesn't matter if you do. Now, the only fields which may appear in an interface are static final fields. They have to have an initializer as well. So they're constant in other words, they're just constants. Right, um, uh, a class must be marked as abstract if it doesn't implement every abstract method that it inherits. And it could inherit that abstract method from a class, um, that would be an abstract class of course, or an interface. It could be, for example, that uh, we've got some sort of class and it extends an abstract class and that abstract class implements an interface and that interface in turn extends some other interface. Okay, now, um, every method in that interface at the end of that list there has to have at least one concrete implementation somewhere in that chain of classes. And uh, I'm going to illustrate that. 